All right. I have been up for the last eight hours. Uh, since like 12 a.m. I've been working on this base, figuring it out. And I think it is finally done. Barring a couple things I need to change that I can't do anymore because on the console build server you can't break stuff after the 10 minutes. So we got disconnectable TCs connected to four gatehouses and the build itself is a two by one with honeycomb. Also ran into some issues there which is something I need to fix but because of stability reasons I can't put a roof but I fix that on the other side, except for that corner, which I can't fix because again the build servers are weird. But yeah, it will go all the way around. Um, I believe these are mini Satori disconnectable TCs, and they work like this. Connected. And to reconnect, let me just pop them like that. Upgrade to metal, and you are good. Just built that to jump up. These are the gatehouses, just two by ones. Give you full view of everything. You're pop them off for whatever reason. And they are pixel peaked. If I can find it. You can fit four large or three large furnaces in each little quadrant. This area can fit a bunch of oil refineries. I built those, put turrets on. Plenty of space in here for just putting turrets everywhere. Um, again, I can't break buildings after 10 minutes, so that's why there's random twig attached. That is not part of the build. That gatehouse, again, also pixel peaked. And this is the front door. Got a little triangle airlock. Garage door opens, there's a turret. Garage door can be opened from the inside if you get someone stuck in here. Got some depot boxes underneath, fridge. More depot boxes. This is the first floor, which leads into a hallway and the first uh, frustrator loot room. Didn't have ladders unlocked when I started building this, so I put a platform there. Um, in the actual build, this won't be here. It'll just be a drop down with a ladder. Um, the way frustrator rooms work is if you don't have auth, you drop down, shotgun trap kills you takes out the ladder, you're stuck down there with the loot. Um, here is the garage door to the front. You see you can open it. The turret is now exposed and shoot out your front door. Um, we got vending machines right here. It opens up into the rest of the base. A little root room, loot room. Sorry, I have been up for like 24 hours. Garage door closes turns it into a little triangle honeycomb. Same thing going on on this side. Garage door closes. More vending machines which also function as honeycomb. Can't break them from the back or else you lose the loot. Another drop down frustrator loot room. This is our path to TC. Put a turret down there. Little bag room to fit as many bags as you want. 
can't break the campfire. So that's why there's no bags on that square. This is the T3 and vending machine. More vending machines, vending machines, vending machines. And TC, it's all high qual. Again, it's built off of a two by one. I just honeycombed the outside. Doors right here. Everything is modular, so built up from it. Um, this ladder hatch leads to the bedroom floor, as does this one that reflected. Exact mirror images of one another. This is the first bedroom, vending machine, two beds, locker. Same thing here, locker, beds. Turret pod underneath the jump up, catch them coming down, catch them coming up if they break the door. This is the shooting floor, which is wide gapped. Curtain go there. Shotgun traps can go around the shooting floor to catch anybody if they take it. Um, this is the entrance back into where we just came out of. Again, like I said, the bedrooms are mirrored, so there are two ways into the shooting floor the other bedrooms, which again, turret, bedrooms, any machine, more bedrooms, total of eight beds. Um, if they take it, you can just pop the window, open garage door, turret will handle anyone coming up the um, ladder hatch or coming down if they break through the roof. Again, that shoots anybody coming in, and the entire floor is pretty much covered by that. Then we have the best part, which is the open core. Um, boxes are a little unorganized, didn't spend too much time on it. Um, campfire messes up a lot of the symmetry. We got turrets down there, put another one down there and there. Two loot rooms, loot rooms, T3, bags, vending machines. These can be bedrooms, storage, or I just got a research table and a repair bench in there. Again, turret, turret, turret. Turrets can go up on those triangles and cover everything. Uh, shotgun traps on either side will catch anybody jumping in and over, depending on where they breach, if they breach. Garage door, put a vending machine, locker, turret. Um, okay, like I said, roof access is not possible currently because you can't uh, soft side. And I only realized that after I'd built the shooting floor. So, no way to get up there. If I add something, I'll probably add a chute right here on this side to cover the TC a little extra that goes straight from the ground floor via ladder hatches all the way up to here and the roof or I would get rid of this add a second layer of shooting floor on top of this and let this function as a jump up just like this works right here Um, yeah, that should be the base. Four mini Satori's. Barricades to cover any nakeds jumping in. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end it.